Hey, David Likens here. Going to do a quick walk around on a Paddle King Low Pro Angler. Uh, this is a 2017 model, uh, and it is also a new color for 2017, which is called Burgundy and Gray. Uh, they do make a Burgundy and Tan, and uh, depending on, I guess, your screen and or this video, uh, it is a very uh, wine color, not red. Um, depending on the computer you're watching on, it does vary. But I'm going to point out a few features and some things that we did to it and how simple these things can be. Uh, most of the ones we do stock uh, are just bare bone stock with no motors or anything. And then we basically outfit it and make it yours and as simple as it needs to be or as cool as you want it to be with some of the other videos that we've done uh, that you can check out on our uh, subscription page or, or model page. But to start off, uh, this is a new trailer for this year, 12 inch rims. Um, it is powder coated. Now you can get a galvanized trailer and in all of our trailers uh, highly recommend getting a spare tire mount which you see there in front of that bump stop uh, kind of silly not to have one that way but uh, the nice thing is you do not have to buy the trailer with any of the boats uh, they can be dropped off in your pond or or you can buy them with the trailer uh, totally up to you uh, but to get started this angler is 13 feet 6 inches long uh, only weighs 460 pounds which is pretty amazing uh, out of the box, you do get a standard uh, navigational lights, which are on the front. You do get a live well, which you see here in this picture. Uh, and then you do get the bimini top there, a bimini boot that you use for travel, and a mooring cover, uh, which all are in the brochure and links below. As we go around the boat, this boat does have four 12-inch uh, diameter pontoons under it. As you can see, these are the new LED navigational lights. This is one of the four and a half inch boat cleats uh, that we put on with stainless steel hardware, just to make it a nice and easy place to tie off the boat onto a dock or your anchor. These are the Paddle King graphics, uh, vinyl stickers that can be removed and we can do a vinyl wrap on them. One quick thing I wanna point out, this is another Paddle King accessory right here called the hinge pin position set. So what you get here is how it would be up with the bimini top open. And as you can see, it's a little over six foot tall. Uh, you can store it back at an angle or when it lays down completely flat, your mounting position goes from here to here, which makes the bimini and everything sit about four inches above the gunwale rail there. So as we move around to the back, you do have a tie down point here for an anchor or to tie off on your dock. As you can see, these are the four 12 inch diameter pontoons. This pump right here is the pump for your live well. As you can see, they've built a nice aluminum bracket uh, to mount it and protect it both, uh, wiring and piping routed up underneath the boat for a nice clean install. Now on this particular model, uh, we've done a 55 foot pound 12 volt electric system. Um, it does have a 36 inch shaft, which is recommended. That's really all you need to move a 460 pound boat across the water. Uh, the nice thing about the angler and the cruiser is they both can go in about 10 inches of water. Uh, they're very buoyant and very flat, as you can see. Coming around to the other side, and we'll just start jumping into the middle. Once again, there's our cleats, LED lights, give you a good look at the spare tire and mount. Um, these are the custom trailers where each pontoon has its own bunker to rest on. So these trailers are specifically made for uh, the Paddle King boats. This is the open floor plan model. They do make a closed bow. Uh, getting in the boat here, another standard feature is the corner cup holders and rod holders. This is designed where your rod goes in here and spins around and locks in. Uh, you would use those while you're on the lake, not while you're traveling. Now on this side, this, these are the seat cushions uh, that are optional as well. That way you can sit on the storage box. So on your port side here, you lift this up. You got a decent sized storage. As you can see, we placed the Bimini boot cover inside there. This is snap off. That way you can throw them in there for travel or take them inside for winter. Then on your starboard side, this flips up again as well. You've got your drain hose and this twist to open up 
and adjust the flow of the water for your live well. Uh, you can use this as a cooler. Fill it full of ice, pull this out, and all your water and everything drains straight back into the lake or onto the dock. Now this little snap is also on the other side. That is designed for travel and just to keep it locked down. It just snaps right into place nice and easy. On the bimini top, this is the connection for your mooring light, which is on top here. As we go back to the back passenger side, these are the new seats for 2017. They flip forward, giving you some more storage. Now, if you wanted to mount your battery or you wanted to run a larger electric system in here, you can put your batteries in this section if you want. And as we move over here to this side, again, seat flips forward. Nice clean install. This is a, a SRM 27 series deep cycle battery uh, factory wiring right there, which does power our Minn Kota motor here. And then we do have the factory switches. One is your navigation lights and mooring light, and then the build switch activates your live well pump if you need it. Now, uh, this does tilt. You've got forward and reverse speeds, 55 pounds of thrust, digital maximizer. So again, very simple system. Uh, again, my name is David Likens. I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, feel free to like our video or subscribe to it if you would. Uh, all of my contact information is down here uh, below this video. Uh, we do ship uh, across the United States. Uh, and again, we can deliver them. We can have them shipped. We can customize them and make them as simple as this boat is. Or... We can put radios in them, LED lights, fishing lights, or anything else that you really need. So again, my name is David Likens. Uh, if you like this video or would like information on the boats, I'd love to work with you in the future. And thank you for watching this video.